All right, folks, welcome back to this week's update. Um, rather than doing the time lapse this week, it's going to be uh, just me kind of showing you and pointing to you what I've actually gotten done. The uh, first thing that I want to point out is, is that uh, the main spars for the elevators um, are pretty much ready to be installed at this point. The control horn that you see here has been riveted on, and you can see my rivet job on this side. I think it looks pretty good. The root rib here, and then the uh, doubler plates that you see there, uh, they got installed along with the nut plate that the um, hinge rod goes into. And then also one uh, other addition, this is a modification that I made where one of the rivets I replaced out with a number 10 screw that has been Loctite uh, sealed into place. And what this is for is for the bonding strap that goes to the horizontal strap. I think I remember uh, showing you guys that, but if I didn't, the wire that you see there, that comes down and then that bonds on to the elevator. And the purpose behind that is, as you guys remember that we're gonna be installing the static wicks static wicks that will get installed there. One gets installed there, one there, same thing on the other side. And those static wicks need a way to be able to electrically bond the control surfaces together. So um, those got installed. The um, All the ribs here in the elevators got installed and it got put together. Um, it is still just clear code that's on my to-do list for this week is to actually um, rivet the ribs together. I was also able to get the skins riveted to the rear spar, as you see here, all except for this portion. And the reason why this portion can't be done is there's a special bucking bar that's needed in order to um, rivet those two sides together. And as you can see on it inside of there, it's kind of a tight fit. And I have a buddy who has that special bucking bar that he and I just need to be able to get up this week, hopefully together and I can get that special bucking bar from him and he's gonna let me borrow. Also, while I was underneath here, I went ahead and installed the nut plates that you see there for the static wicks. There's two there and then there's one down here that enable those to be joined up together. Also, the uh, trim, ta trim tab control cable, um, I was able to get those mounted up. These are just temporary screws and temporary bolts that these are mounted to because um, I've read from several folks that if you can take these off, screw these separately to the control tabs and then install them back to this plate, it makes much more sense and is much easier. So these are just temporary bolts and screws that are holding these on. Um, the actual ones are probably two years away from being needing to be installed. So, and the way these work is they just simply will go back over this hole that you see here and then there are seven screws that hold this down into place. Um, but like I said, I, I mounted them temporarily just so that way we don't lose them because otherwise that'd be a really simple uh, item to misplace. So anyway, thanks for watching and until uh, next week.